All right, bastards, uh, today I want to talk about how to survive a grenade attack. Well, <clears throat> first we need to understand what is a grenade. Well, a grenade is an explosive that is being thrown or fired from a distance. Uh, or uh, yeah, so uh, in this case we will talk more about the most common uh, hand grenades. Uh, the survival tactics I will discuss uh, within a moment are e are also applied to uh, when the when shells are fired from howitzers, cannons, or grenade launchers. Those uh, the things are always the uh, are basic the same uh, if you want to survive an impact. So first of all, let's talk. What is a grenade? Well, uh, don't worry. This is a dummy head, a dummy uh, a practice grenade. So. It doesn't contain explosives, uh, but this is a hand grenade, uh, F1 uh, Russian hand grenade. Uh, as you, you can see, it has several parts. Uh, I will uh, talk about it now. First of all, uh, if you open the grenade, you turn it up. It is basically basically two parts. Uh, you have the casing. Uh, this is the play this is the part where the explosives are this is filled with explosives. As you can see, it has all these uh, serrated uh, edges. Uh, this is, this means this is a fragmentation grenade. What does this mean? When this explodes, uh, the all the all these pieces of metal will fly around and uh, will harm will harm or kill the intended target. So uh, explosives uh, outsides. And this is the part, uh, as you can see, the this is cut away, the detonator is cut away, but this is the safety leverage, uh, which will hold, I will put it back on first to show you. Um, this is the uh, safety leverage, which is the part that you keep in your hand. Um, because if you, you take this, when you uh, hold this tight and you pull, the safety pin out, uh, that is a safety pin. When you pull it out, uh, it will not yet explode. But the moment you release the safety handle, you by if you throw it, and the moment it leaves your hands, this safety handle will fly open, which open a spring that will uh, put, uh, uh, activate a firing pin against the detonator, and the detonator that is normal, uh, in, normally inside of this uh, will be activate a fuse and this will have prox approximately three to, f to five seconds till it reaches the explosives inside and, ex and uh, explodes. So this is how a hand grenade works. I just want to point something else out. If you ever have to throw a hand grenade or something, you never know. Don't do it like in the movies, like with a Hit the T and pull it because you need five kilograms of force to actually pull the pin out so your teeth will break. So don't act like in the movies. Just you will need all the force from your hands to do it and you will have your teeth left. So uh, that is how it works. I will show you in a minute how uh, it can work. Uh, first, my first uh, step for safety uh, for a surviving a grenade attack is prevent. Uh, prevent coming near a place where grenades are being launched. Uh, yeah, it can might sound stupid and perhaps obvious, but don't travel to war zones. Don't travel to places where grenade attacks are common. There are certain, like here in Antwerp, uh, there was a time where grenades, hand grenades, were used as an intimidation techniques tactics from the drug from drug gangs. So. Uh, what, they, what would they do? They would throw hand grenades uh, under the cars or in front of the buildings or sometimes even in the buildings of targets they wanted to scare off. It was not really to to kill them, but it was more to as an intimidation tactic. But yet again, when you're just walking by and one of these gangsters is throwing a grenade for these uh, intimidation tactics, you could be a victim of it. Uh, so that could be very dangerous. Uh, we will come into the survival tactics for that in a minute. But second, the moment you see someone with a hand grenade, uh, perhaps it's, it's a suicide bomber, perhaps it's 
somebody who is depressed and he's uh, is trying to take uh, will take his own life but he doesn't want to go alone or it will take someone with him that is perhaps standing next to you these are all possibilities that could happen so uh, the moment you see someone with a hand grenade uh, <coughs> you will probably uh, just run away yeah they can throw it at you but the more distance uh, there is between you and the guy who holds holding the grenade uh, the more chance you have to it will miss or uh, it will uh, be less deadly or you have find you have more time to get to a place where there is cover so that's the first uh, real action to take just run away uh, look for cover and observe the guy uh, who's holding the hand grenade because you don't want him to go after you and then just lob it in the room where you're hiding or something or after behind the, the only piece of cover there is so watch out for that the uh, next thing that could happen is a uh, um, how do I say this the guy already pulled the hand grenade out I will show it with this uh, it is a, a smoke grenade that already went off so there is no danger that but uh, even when it explodes, it's just smoke. Uh, when, a, when a guy is threatening to uh, blow himself up or others, like you can see, this is the safety pin. This grenade is now live and activated. Uh, you have to also to be careful from the moment that somebody uh, released their leverage. Uh, there is a tactic that they call cooking off a grenade, which means they will release the leverage, wait a few seconds and then throw the grenade so the target doesn't have time to react or find cover or something so that's also something to take in calculation uh, in surviving a hand grenade attack this grenade is now activated now uh, i would say some psychology lessons will come into place um, when a guy is threatening to blow himself or other people up and he's already pulled the pin out just talk to the guy try to uh, when you're not getting, uh, when you're not uh, be able to get away before, because you're perhaps in a room, because that's another danger. When an act, uh, when a grenade active uh, explodes in a room, it will not only be the fragmentation that will, will probably kill you, but the shock wave of the of the blast, because that's a uh, uh, grenades work in two ways. Fragment will kill you in two ways. Fragmentation, which are metal splinters and uh, pieces of metal that fly around and will it's vital, hit vital organs, uh, tissue, nerves, uh, blood vessels. So that's the first danger. Uh, when it's a grenade, the grenade also has uh, a certain shock wave. This is especially dangerous when you're in a closed area because the shock wave will vibrate everything at such a pace that it will tear tissue, lungs, uh, brain matter. It will shock everything. Uh, that it will uh, start to break and bleed so you don't want that to happen so talk to the guy just try to reason with him try to ask first of all when somebody's er so, so irrational that he will have a grenade uh, with a pin off talk to him say uh, talk to, uh, try to ask for his name try to ask why he does this let him hear let him hear him out so you can he can ventilate and he will uh, and also keep trying saying the name because the person that is probably out of reality will perhaps try uh, more do some more self-reflection about this so that's something to think about uh, I would suggest to follow some psychology lessons uh, uh, some bi biographies from police and negotiators uh, to learn this stuff so uh, when the guy uh, when you say you can you can do two things you can say to the guy to put the grenade in, uh, the pin back himself but sometimes you just want to be safe when you take a grenade over from somebody just be very careful I would suggest to go between the fingers of the, of the person to get a hold of the leverage and then grip it and that way you have more chance because some people will try to just do it on the safe side they don't want to touch the other person their hands but that way it can uh, activate the leverage handle if you i will show you how much uh, leverage it take to activate the grenade uh, like i said ju just go between the fingers and then you have uh, more grip but if you don't this is all it takes to activate a grenade is this much space 
to activate the grenades. Like you can see, it is the firing pin uh, of the grenades. Uh, it is not too sure for this, but this is the firing pin that will activate the detonator, which will activate the fuse. So I just put it back on. When you when you got the grenade from the guy, just take this, find the safety pin uh, if he still holds it in his hands. If you don't have a safety and you when the safety pin is lost, try to find another object like something that will fit inside of this hole here. Uh, perhaps it's a safety pin. It's better than nothing because you you need something very hard to prevent that even the power of the spring will not damage it. But Use something like, yeah, like I said, a safety pin, a bobby pen, uh, anything that can fit his heart and fit through this, even a toothpick uh, can work. So, and if not, uh, I would suggest if you don't have a safety pin and you don't want this to happen, there are certain ways. Uh, first one, just let the, just throw the grenade into a safe place to, to let it explode. Uh, do something like where it can do no damage in a pit, uh, a ditch, uh, or uh, a, terrain, a trench or something, somewhere where it cannot harm anyone. anyone. The second thing you can do, I would, not uh, I would not advise to do this, but if there is no, when you're in a crowd perhaps, and you just hold on to the grenade till the authorities come, but else this I would not suggest, but it's just uh, a way, just turn the pin, Hold the pin on the underside and remove the hand grenade. And now you still have the pin, but this is very dangerous. I would only do this as a last option for whatever reason, but just an idea uh, to brighten your imaginations. So, um, all right, now we come to the, to the survival tactics for when somebody throws a grenade uh, right next to, right in the, right a few meters from you. So, what do you do? First of all, uh, just uh, just go, uh, just, how do you say this? Run to the nearest cover if it's a few meters away, just after, uh, behind something solid, a car, uh, a wall, uh, perhaps uh, a ditch, a trench, anything that will put some distance, uh, that will put something between you and a grenade, something solid um, to protect you from either the, either the blast wave or the fragmentation. So that's the first thing you can do. Uh, when you're in an open area or like a street or a field and a grenade uh, lands, in front, uh, lands uh, a few meters away from you, the first thing you do is throw yourself uh, flat on the ground with your feet uh, towards the grenade just make you make yourself um, as small as possible. Um, that way, you're low because when a grenade when a grenade grenade explodes, you must see it like a cone. It will explode usually in a cone way uh, above. Uh, it will rarely uh, there is uh, less damage on the horizontal way. So uh, that's the first way to avoid. Uh, the, to survive the initial explosion. Uh, the second uh, part of this uh, thing you, you must do is uh, cover your ears. Uh, I would suggest when you're lying down to lie down like this, uh, flat on the ground, and keep your both hands on your ears. Why? Because the shock wave, uh, the blast, uh, can rupture your eardrums. And you don't want that. And it can also affect uh, affects the brain and such if you leave your uh, ear canals open so keep your eyes shut that's a uh, second uh, that's a second part you have to do uh, another part is open keep your mouth open uh, yeah it might sound weird but when a shock wave of a grenade goes off of or any explosive like I said before this can be applied to shells even when a grenade explodes uh, keep your mouth open and your ears Close. Why? Because the blast wave can rupture your lungs. So when your mouth is closed and your lungs get hit by blast waves, uh, they can rupture. But if you open your, keep your mouth open, you give it 
you give the pressure that builds inside because of the shockwave some way to leave. So that's a way to uh, prevent that your lungs will uh, be damaged by the initial explosive and blast wave. Um, so next thing, uh, I will sh I will give a, uh, later on. I will give a demonstration how you would uh, do this. But uh, now I will do it step by step. Uh, when your uh, when your feet are near are in the direction of the grenades, try to cross them. Why? Uh, that way you protect your uh, or your main uh, aorta, your main artery, arteries and blood vessels in the inside of your thigh against shrapnel. Uh, yeah, because you don't want those blood vessels to be cut off because you will bleed out in within a minute. So try to protect those. Uh, yeah, those are the steps to survive a hand grenade explosion. Uh, yeah, also when you cover your eyes, keep your, your arms as close to your body as you can while lying flat on the ground. And yeah, that's the way to survive a hand grenade. You will probably, there is a chance you will get hit by some shrapnel or splinters, but it's better than that than take the, the whole volley uh, in you. So, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, one more thing uh, I would suggest, uh, which is something I see in the movies uh, for some reason. Uh, when they when a grenade is thrown, you always see these people look at it, and then and, and then say grenade, and then they go flat. You need to scream it before you do because uh, before before uh, as you as fast as you can because when you say grenade uh, while you, while you lie flat on the ground and you yell grenade, other people will be triggered. They will automatically uh, directly see what you do and they will will follow your example as quick as possible. So instead of grenade and they still see you standing so they don't know which direction. When they see you go flat, they will also go flat in the same direction as you perhaps and that will save some lives. Uh, the, and the last thing, yeah, yeah, that's uh, about it I think for surviving uh, a grenade or any explosion and not any but most explosions, it's standard uh, operate, uh, procedure in the US Army and other armies in the world. So, uh, yeah, this. Uh, now I will give, uh, show you a demonstration of how to survive a hand grenade uh, in the next uh, clip. So, now I will act like I have uh, an accident at the firing range while practicing with the grenade. It will drop out of my hands by as a scenario. That uh, very that happen that happens very often. So let's see how this uh, should be done. Oh shit! Grenade! So as you can see, that's uh, this is what. Uh, uh, this was a little demonstration of how you should react when a grenade uh, goes off next to you. Uh, a point that I forgot to, to tell you is uh, don't don't try to throw a grenade back away. Perhaps when you're in, in a shelter or a cover or a trench or something and it falls next to you, you can perhaps throw it directly away or through a window. But in most cases, uh, like in open areas or something, you don't have time for to throw the grenade away, uh, to be honest, because there are two factors. First of all, this can be three point three three to five seconds till they explode. So imagine when when somebody throw, uh, throws the grenade away, throws that's at least one to two seconds before it lands next to you. Then there is the time frame from when the realization that oh sh shit, a grenade. And the moment you realize it, the that little, it's perhaps a few tenths of the seconds, but there is always the freezing moment from <gasps> that's, that's that moment of realization that will also cut in the time. And then before you can reach the grenade, uh, throw it away. Uh, perhaps first look where you throw it because you don't want to throw it uh, to your girlfriend or your buddies <laughs> to see. Uh, yeah. Because, and then 
you have to calculate. Uh, then you always have to, you also have to be lucky that they did not cook off the grenade. Like I said before, cook off the grenade is like release the lever already. One, two, and then throw it. So the person for who is the who is intended does not really have uh, the chance to react to react even. So that's also a danger for uh, throwing away a grenade. Uh, yeah, that's uh, another a, a very possibility. And next thing, uh, uh, when you want to throw a grenade away, for people who say, oh, I can, I'm fast enough, I can react enough to throw a grenade away. Well, when you, when there are grenades next to you, there is this, there is this, like I said, this moment of freezing and a little bit of panic. It, you can be the biggest badass in the world. You will be panicking when such a thing is falling next to you. So, if I just... Oh, shit. Oh, boom. That is the, yeah, because of stress, because of the stress of the moment, because of the panic, you, uh, people often uh, will grab next to it or grab uh, or let it fall between their hands. Uh, yeah, that's because some of the muscles will be very loose or too stiff to do some precision actions because of the moment of the panic. Uh, not all people do this, but it's a possibility that you can do it and you can also now say, Oh, I will be cool enough to grab that hand grenade just like that. Nobody knows how they would they how would they react in such stressful situation in that moment of panic. How would their nature react? Nobody knows that. I don't know it. The guy who is who is in the military for ten years doesn't know it. So always better to just uh, uh, jump jump away and do the do the steps to minimal minimize the damage uh, in most cases so uh, yeah I hope you learned something from this uh, uh, I hope you will never have to encounter a hand grenade attack or any other explosive for that matter uh, yeah uh, I hope it when it happens it will save your life someday uh, thank you for watching subscribe like and all such things so thank you for watching see you in the next video